Now the grass. That's pretty easy. It's just stuff that we've seen before. It's just uh, another. It's just another sprite, another rectangle, which is uh, green. Now what's new about it is just another way of typing the color. So instead of using the hexadecimal, you can also write your colors like this, or you can just type them like this. So that's the red value, the blue value, and the gray, and the sorry, red, green, and blue. And we'll append this as well into other into our scene that just should give us the grass. Now for the for the polygon for the, that that launching platform that you saw will require a new class which is the polygon class. And a polygon can be any geometrical figure that well that that is a polygon. I guess you learned that in geometry classes. And I clearly don't know the definition. But it's basically a geometrical figure such as rectangles, triangles, that's composed of, uh, that's made of, of points and lines that connect those points. And it just acts as, a, as similar to other, to the other things we've seen so far. So it has a position, an anchor point, a fill, a lot of these elements, well, not a lot of them, actually all of them, including the scene and the, even the director, they come from another element called lime.node. That's like the master um, element for all of these. And normally we're not gonna, I mean, we're not gonna uh, declare these uh, node elements at all, but these all come from that, just so you know. So far we're good here, we've given it a position, an anchor point, and a fill. And now that the new part is just to add the points, and the points will be coordinates in the, in the polygons coordinate system. So let's look at those uh, drawings again. For instance, the first point is minus 40, comma 40. So if, if we start here, minus 40 would be here, so we're actually starting in a negative uh, coordinate, which is okay, and then comma 40, so that would be somewhere here. Now the, the following coordinate is actually 0, 0.0, this one, and then 600, comma 0, and then we go 640, comma 40, and then we go all the way back to the first coordinate so that we close the polygon. And we have to append that, of course, to our scene. There's some sort of error happening. We can always look to the, the console. Yes, line. It's not line, it's lime. Cool. Yep. There we go. Now it's time to add our first rocket. And that's just an image defined uh, as a sprite that has a certain size. Uh, uh, as a fill, we are putting in the, the image file that you can download from, from the course. And there's the position. Considering that the anchor point is going to be in the 0, 0, um, coordinate of the image. Right. Now this is where the really new stuff comes in. We want to link this image to the event of a, either a mouse click or a touch in your touch screen uh, device. So how do we do that? In LimeJS and, and this comes from the Closure library, and, and for the ones of you who use jQuery and, or, or do web applications in JavaScript, you'll be familiar with this concept. The way it's done, you link an event, such as a click 
or a mouse uh, or a touch screen touch event to the element in this case the rocket so basically we we what we type is when this thing is clicked do this perform this action right so this is similar to what's done in jQuery when you when you add uh, when you add um, events to clicking and things like that and what's great is that it, uh, it makes it very easy to make it work for both desktop applications and mobile devices so the way we're gonna do it now is it's gonna work on all kinds of devices and for that um, we define this event like this we do cook dot events so this comes from the the uh, closure library Google's closure library and so we tell it to listen to rocket one the events that will that that we want it to listen to our mouse down so that's basically a click or the mouse uh, kept on a down position and touch start which is the beginning of a touch uh, movement and then we create the function that will be carried out uh, once this event happens so everything in here is gonna happen it's gonna be executed once um, once this uh, any of these events is detected on rocket one if you want to refer to rocket one inside of, of here you, you you call it this if I use this here I'm referring to uh, rocket one so first thing I want this rocket to to fly to go all the way up and disappear from the screen and so that's an animation I have to create that animation first I'm gonna include the class that takes care of the animation type called move to which is moving an element to a position You, um, yes, you want you want to create this. Um, let's call it Rocket One Movement, and it will be a new line dot animation dot move to. We want it to move on. It's it, it, we want it to stay on the same axis, uh, x axis, so in the same horizontal position. And its current our horizontal position is 360, so we'll leave that one. But we want it to disappear off the screen, which means that we have to give it a negative number that will make it just go away from, from our area. So we'll say minus 200, because it's 140, so this should be enough. I mean, it's not. we're not going to get like a tail still on the screen once it's gone and we can say how long this uh, animation is gonna go for we can say that it's just gonna be one second we've created the movement now the only thing we have to do is just to to run that action and that's how you do it this dot run action and we we say uh, rocket one yeah movement remember that this here is referring to whichever element was placed here if I didn't make any mistake it should work yeah cool awesome 